Hello and welcome to Let's Play RimWorld Royalty with Gamer Mom. We're working on a grid based challenge and this is episode 5. Let's go see how our colonists are doing. So here we have our three colonists, Amelie, Zoya, and Leo. They also have a visitor right now, Katya. Uh, she's not doing any work, but that's okay. She's just hanging out. We also have two prisoners. We have McLean, who is so, so close to being recruited. Um, and we have our new prisoner, Marulo. Sadly, we did not get this bedroll to the prison in time for McLean, who is now sleeping on the floor, which is... Yeah, I'm not happy about that, but what can you do? She was so, so close. She's literally at 0.1. I was really, really hoping Leo would convince her to join right as we captured Marulo. And it would just be so easy, like one prisoner in, one prisoner out. But sadly, that did not happen. Um, oh, a heat wave. Oh, no. That's not good. That will tax our air conditioning. We don't have batteries yet. It's going to be challenging to get AC into the prison because, you know, we don't want to like open a hole in the wall and let them out. So probably what we're going to have to do is put like an AC unit here, for example, and then build out slightly and then um, expand like these walls to kind of let the prison expand. Um, so yeah, we'll have to work on that. We at least have a passive cooler, but that's not going to do much against a heat wave. It's going to get very, very hot very quickly. So here's the plan. We're going to do this. We're going to cut this. We'll maybe stick a door on the other side to make sure someone doesn't get trapped inside. We will build an AC unit here once the space is built and enclosed. And then we will knock down these walls and just expand the prison. We are also going to want to make sure that we add some floors so that it's not a crappy space. Dirt on the floor is not, um, does not make prisoners happy. So we'll already have this to contend with. Oh, who's starving? Leo. Leo is already on the way to get food. Okay, and then he should be going to say hi to the prisoners. Oh my goodness, McLean is starving. Leo, hurry up, man. N you know, no, 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 deliver food, deliver food. That's a priority. I know you want to wash, but this is important. How's Marulo doing? Does he need food? He really does, oh no. Okay, so Leo, not only is he gonna be spending a lot of time researching, he will be spending a lot of time uh, with the prisoners. Oh, he's feeding Marulo first. Can someone else deliver a meal for McLean then? That's interesting, because I had him deliver to McLean, but I guess it, the whatever algorithm of the game decided that Marulo was a priority. Hmm. What you up to? Oh no, 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 this is bad. Oh, look at him. Is he, like, he's barely able to walk. Does Leo have a knife? Leo has a knife. <clears throat> okay, all right. Um, they're both breaking out. They're unhappy. That's probably why. Emily, I'm so sorry. This sucks, and Zoe is right there. Oh, this is the worst. I guess, Leo, have your knife, but maybe come outside, because I don't want him just attacking you as is. Maybe Emily can step away. All right, let's try, like, don't hurt them too much. Please, please don't hurt them too much. Be careful, Katya, don't get near. Yeah, you run away. <clears throat> okay, maybe Leo, where's my Leo going? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, she was so close to being recruited. Are you kidding me? What? No, McLean. Oh. Oh, that is so sad. That's just the worst. Oh. Excuse me while I slam my head against my desk for a moment. Okay, what are we going to do with both action? Okay, Emily, you are clearly too powerful. We are not going to let you fire. 
he like gonna grab the food? He's like, I'm hungry. I just want this. Food. Okay, there, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, uh, Leo, why don't you capture him? Then you can feed him. Oh my goodness, McLean, no. Yeah, and the Cassie is gonna be like, you gross. I don't wanna see bodies. What's this random boomalope walking by? Yeah, with the heat wave, all the critters of the, the world are gonna be rushing out. Okay, he's taking care of Marulo, who has additional new injuries. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. I am like so super bummed. That is just the worst. I was all like, I was so excited, like, here we go. This episode, we're gonna recruit McLean. I am like, I am honestly super, I will admit, I am super tempted to just like load the save again and like start recording and be like hi welcome to episode five everything is fine i'm not getting ready for a potential prison break nope but no i won't do that i promised i would stick it out no matter what happened um i'm gonna yep i'm gonna stick with it katia what are you what are you doing in here are you helping or something you're just wandering why are you wandering around the prison also, why are you drunk? Oh my god. You are weird. Oh, she has a chemical. Oh my god. We're gonna have to be careful about that then. Maybe we'll want to avoid having any drugs besides like alcohol. Maybe smoke leaf wouldn't be so bad. Okay, um, on with it, I guess. Um, we'll continue working on Marulo, who has 30. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, we'll make sure to keep our prisoners happy. I am so sad, guys. I am like so super bummed. I could legit cry. <laughs> okay, what are we gonna do with McLean now? Do we have any graves? Oh, we do not. Where's the kill box gonna be? I think it's supposed to be over here. So maybe we'll put some graves outside that space. Bury her. Let's stick him over here. So yeah, we do the honors. Somebody can bury her. Oh my goodness. Cat is still hanging around in the prison. That is so weird. Should we like, I don't know, do we want to remove that from her area? From like the base area? Hmm. Will it work? Would it keep her out? She's unrestricted. What if I said this? Okay, it would. It would. I'm just going to have to remember that I did that um, in the case of, you know, guests and other people and like especially colonists that are, if you know, if we're ever combining colonists to the base. Who has heat stroke? Emily and Zoya both have heat stroke. Looks like Katya might as well. No, okay. Marulo, no longer incapable of walking. Stay put though, please. Please stay where you are. Okay, Leo is researching, that is good. We really need batteries. How are our air conditioning? Wow, okay. We need to, let's do another minus 10. Especially for like the rec room, we definitely want that to be cool. We want the barracks to be cool where Katya is staying. We should build her her own room as well. There is definitely a lot of building to be done. Zoya, what are you up to? You know what? Can you? This just happens. They always stop doing this. I think it's because like sometimes I just don't have enough wood, and then they're focusing on the non-wood building. There might also be like an inherent bias of building non-wood things first whenever you have the um, choice. Let's do this. Let's make sure there's always lots of wood because we want Zoya building over here. Please and thank you. Yeah, we have lots of wood. Okay, so it's not that. It's just the bias towards building, um, you know, stone stuff first. Where is Emily? Where were you? Oh, were you burying? Okay, you were burying calling it the McLean sweltering hot. My friend McLean died. Oh, 
Such a wonderful person gone forever. Oh my gosh. They literally, like, they already made friends with her. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my god. Okay, we will, we will carry on. Wow, it is so hot. Do you wanna, I, I'm tempted to put, like, passive coolers, but I don't think they would help much. So we've got one in here, and it's not doing anything. It's 35. Although, actually, passive cooler plus AC. They seem to be almost as effective as each other right now, which is kind of strange. Let's crank down the AC a little more. We've got the full power running. We really need this fridge to stay cool, though. Holy smokes, that is too hot for the fridge. It spoils. We don't have a lot of food. It's not too bad. Hopefully the heat wave will be definitely done before, like, 11 days. Uh, we need some as well. We need to send someone hunting. There's not a lot of animals left. They have all run away because it is way too hot. We're going to have to settle for, like, a turtle. Which is not a lot of meat. Probably better than a guinea pig? I don't know. Let's check. Does a tortoise have more meat than a guinea pig? That is the question. Meat. Leather. Um, 45. Guinea pig. Meat. 29. Okay, so tortoise, definitely better. Ooh, Zoya's like too hot. Um, okay. It is so hot, like, oh my gosh. Okay, maybe we'll build some of these passive coolers inside places. Let's get Zoya on that next. Unless she needs to eat or something. What's she doing? It's washing, how about this instead? And then have a wash. Is Emily hunting? Yes. Yeah, it's way too hot. Let's see you up to. Who's eating? Okay, we'll get Zoya building this stuff and we'll see if it helps. Hopefully we can cool it down and survive the heat wave. Mm. Oh no, an infection. Is that Marulo? Yep, he's gotten an infection in his torso. Uh, who's our doctor? Is for Leo. Okay, that's good. Um, instead of cooking Leo, tend to Marulo. That would so suck if we like lost another prisoner. What a bummer. We have added some um, passive coolers, and they do seem to be helping when they are combined with um, the air conditioning units, which I've cranked down to like super low temps. So maybe I will add yet another passive cooler um, and see if that helps. Okay, is Marulo fully tended to here, Leo? Yeah. Infection is 4.3, immunity is 4. Oof. So we are going to have to really carefully watch and keep tending him and try to get the prison as clean as possible and maybe a bit cooler as well to see if that helps. Because at this rate, the infection will overtake him before he develops immunity and he will die. So that's not so good. self-tamed. Uh, okay, uh, I don't think we need any pets right now, so I'm sorry. I think you are gonna end up eating food, but thank you for your kind donation to our very miserable <laughs> colony. Everyone is enjoying a much cooler night, which is very, very good. We can even ease off a bit on the AC. 
Okay, we'll let Zoya build the roof, uh, and then we'll get this cooler working in the prison space. Thank you, Zoya. I'll start cooling it right down. Wait, is there a roof there? Make sure there is roof everywhere. Good. Okay. So that'll help uh, cool down the prison. It really does seem to be effective to have both the um, passive coolers and the air conditioning. In fact, a lot of these are getting too chilly. Unknown survivors. Oh, it's another refugee. Um, crop lights have starved them out of their village. Moira and another desperate refugee stay for 10 days. They will work and fight for free. I'm gonna take this for sure. We could really use the extra help. It will mean not having guests, but honestly with the heat wave, I kinda don't wanna have guests right now anyways. So we will have them come sit in there with, um, sleep in there with Katya. And um, yeah, hopefully that'll help. Cross your fingers, we get a builder. Let's see how we do. Hmm. Moira. All right, refugees have arrived. Let's check them out. Fingers crossed, they will be helpful. I want building skills, no addictions, maybe some other good helpful skills. Social would be great as well, to help with prisoners. Not bad, honestly, this is pretty good. Okay, seven intellectuals she could help with uh, research. Perfect, okay, Moira is good. Uh, one of them is hygienic, one of them is not hygienic. Artistic, not super helpful right now, but you know, maybe we can have her make some art while she's here. She could mine some, um, if we see any diamonds, rubies, sapphires, or whatever around the map, she could mine them and then turn them into art. She's also good at crafting, so that would be really helpful. And good at planting, so we could get her to plant some food. Awesome! And no health problems. Honestly, this is this is probably like the best we could hope for. That is pretty excellent. Look, we do have some cool stuff. Look at this. It's a nice um, jade over here. Also got some components that she could mine. Let's um, let's set their work priorities and their schedules and put them to work. Oh, I hadn't noticed before. Nakoto or Naoko is actually a night owl, so I should set her schedule differently. Uh, they don't like to be awake, I think it's between 11 and 6 p.m., something like that, or maybe 8 and 6. So let's see, 6 p.m. is here, so we'll have her wake up at 6 p.m. Seven, eight hours sleep, yes. We'll have her do recreation first so that she can join the others and, you know, make friends. Um, sometimes with refugees, you get like an offer to join. So that would be kind of nice. And then we'll have her do her work hours there and have a break before she goes to sleep. So what time is it now? It's three o'clock in the afternoon. She should be sleeping. Wait, uh, oh shoot. She did this corner one, of course. They always do that. Um, let's have you mine through this because it'll be a lot quicker than mining through another component. And then you'll be able to reach these. I can't tell you to haul them yet, so we'll have to hang out and wait with you. Okay, Marulo gets tended in two hours. He is, oh, oh no, he's doing okay actually. His immunity is 96%. So he's very close to developing immunity. That's great. So once, uh, once it's time to tend him, we'll have Leo wake up, take care of that. Actually, was it Naoko who was also good at medical stuff? No, it must have been Moira. Yeah, so either way, we're waking someone up. Naoko is up because she's a night owl. Is it time yet? Oh, he developed immunity before it was time to tend. So that's great. So he will no longer um, die from his infection. Uh, he just has to get over all these other injuries. How close is he? He's not doing too bad. Okay, he's not doing too bad. And we, our prison is looking nice. We've also got the AC unit in there now. So that should help him uh, withstand the heat wave. Ooh, it's even a little too chilly in these rooms. 
pop that back up, this one too. Once we're done with the heat wave, we can move these passive coolers into the fridge and that'll help um, use less power for the cooler. I've got it set to like minus 60 C, um, but that's good, it's keeping it around uh, freezing, uh, which is what we need for our freezer. Caravan approaching, book goods trader. That's great. Do we already have a trading spot somewhere on our map? We added any of those yet? We've got like the music, marriage, and party spots. I don't think we'll have we have a trader spot. We'll see where they uh, where they flock to. See if there's any blue squares where they're standing. Where are they? There they are! They're making their way across the river. Now Oko is not doing so well. Ooh yeah, she was probably down mining stuff to the south. She can hopefully go to bed soon. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and who wants to do the trading? Who's our social? I think it's Leo, eh? Because he was doing the wardening? Yeah. Alright, wait Leo, instead of cooking, can you come and trade? And let's see what we can get. Definitely don't want any cats. Keep our meat. We could sell some of our chem fuel. We have three boomalopes. We're not using any yet. I could bring in some money. We want to keep all of our leathers because we're going to be building sheets and furniture and clothes soon. It's hard to imagine now during this heat wave, but winter will arrive and we will need warm clothes. Yeah, um, hmm. Um, yeah, maybe let's, let's sell some more chem fuel. What can we get for a hundred? 150. Oh yeah, because it's about 50. Let's do that. I don't want to get too much because again, um, like I was saying in the uh, Queer Colony episode on Sunday, um, when you have too much wealth, it just increases the raids. But there might be stuff that we want to buy soon, especially if like a weapons dealer comes by, then we will definitely want to buy some weapons. So let's just leave it at that um, and say see you later. Should we dismiss them? Yeah, I think we might as well dismiss them. Especially if it's hot, these people are going to get cranky. We don't want them like beating each other up and someone getting hurt. Hey, they left a gift. Glitter World Medicine, nice. I was like, please don't be a cat. <laughs> we don't want a cat. Um, who wants to haul that somewhere? Do we have a sp yeah, we have a spot to keep it in the hospital. That's great. Let's make sure our settings are set up. Yep. This is important. Great. Who wants to go grab that? Emily, why don't you go grab that? Great. And we really need to get someone um, planting some food here. Come on, people. Let's make that more of a priority. Emily and Naoko can both work on that. The heat wave is over. That is great news. Amazing. Let's change all of our settings here. I'm going to reset all of them. And then the freezer one will go down. Let's maybe put it around minus, both minus, minus four. See how that goes. And then the passive coolers can all get uninstalled. And we will reinstall a few of them in the fridge. Is this one that was going to be built? Okay, we don't need that anymore. Yeah, okay, this is good. Let's put some of them up here. We're going to expand the freezer soon. There we go. Great, well that'll be nice. And we can put some AC in these rooms in the workshop. They're still not spending a lot of time in the workshop yet. Um, but hopefully they soon will be. Leo is spending some, a good amount of time researching, which is great. 
we will soon have a battery. And one thing I wanted to change, he is also spending a lot of time um, kind of refilling his powers, um, his psi focus abilities, which is really not that helpful to us right now. Like he doesn't really have any actual abilities. Uh, well, he has solar pinhole, but that's it's not really helpful in a battle. So I think I'm going to turn this like basically off so that he doesn't spend all this time meditating and recharging that because it's spending, you know, time out of his day that he could be researching. So we kind of don't want that happening. Um, we want him to spend as much time researching as possible. Hey, Marulo is healed. Good for you, dude. So let's make you as happy as possible. 26.9 resistance. Let's see what you're unhappy about. Crappy clothes, you're sick, and you're in pain. Yeah, you have immunity. Five points left for that. Six points left for that. Okay, now let's get these floors fixed up so that you'll have a nicer space to hang out in. That should help as well. We have a quest available. The Nutty Munchkin Cat. <laughs> okay. Recently lost a scouting party to a pack of five man-hunting munchkin cats. Ah, uh, I was hoping it was going to be like babysit this person's five cats for a couple of weeks. That would have been nice. Um, draw the beast towards you to be killed to uphold her honor. Munchkin cats will arrive 14 hours after we accept three honor and a gun link. Ooh, nice. Psychic sensor. Yeah, I think we would take it for this. I think we'll take it. Um, 1.4 days to accept. Everyone has their original weapons from like the beginning. Our guests came with like clubs, but I have divested them of those weapons in case they betray us. Wow. That, um, that was a pretty hilarious coincidence. Um, cool. Okay. I mean, not cool, but cool that just as I was talking about it, it happened. Um, that really sucks though. I'm very glad I took away their clubs. I'm sorry that they won't be able to help us fight those cats. But maybe um, we can um, take them prisoner at least, I guess. Okay, um, where is everybody? Katya, why don't we send you somewhere out of the way? Because they're like here and you're here. Leo is handy. Where's Emily? Emily is in like the next room. So you can be right there, I guess, as she um, busts down this door, as she was probably going to do. So yeah, has been working on the hygiene system, which is awesome. I was going to show it off once it was done, because it's pretty close. But for now, we're going to have to fight. So let's do that first. Zoya, can you make your way back down here? Um, Leo, I don't know. I don't know if he can do much. Is he delivering food to Marulo? He's cooking. We'll have to get him out of the way as well. Where do we want to send Katya? Let me check my areas. Zone. Uh, we have a stay inside area. Okay, let's see where it is. Stay inside area. I think we used it and then took it away. So let's put it all the way over here. Let's maybe include the prison so that they can work on that. That's good for now. Okay, so we're definitely going to send Katya there. We are going to send our pets. Do we have a pet stay inside? Where is the animal stay inside area? Send all the animals inside somewhere else. Maybe in the storage room. Yeah, let's send them in the storage room. Send all of them, including the Loomalopes. All right, let's, um, let's see how this plays out. Uh, let's clear this psychic soothe. At least our female colonists will be happy as they fight. What a bummer, man. I was hoping we'd get like join um guests. Naoko is just destroying stuff. So is Mo Mo Moira. Moi Moi Moira. I don't know why I like wrapped her name like that. I'm so stressed, I'm stuttering here. Um, are you guys gonna just like destroy our crap or are you gonna actually go anywhere? Okay, well let's let's just come and attack and then stand in the doorways. 
They don't have any weapons, so it's not quite that well. Okay, uh, Moira is running for you, Zoria. So why don't you head this way? Looks like Emily has not been charged yet. Ooh. Uh, we may want to get Leo to help. Let's have him get ready. Could stab Moira. Um, Emily looks like Naoko is headed for you. So let's move you out of the way. Oh, I guess, is she gonna have to bust down? She's gonna have to bust down the door. So I guess just hang out there. So is Moira. All right, Leo, I guess go back to what you were doing. Wait here, bring those. Thank you. And maybe when she busts out, we will get some help. Can Zoya reach her from there? Yes, definitely. Emily definitely can. She's got a huge range on her weapon. They're back to like busting up other things. Okay, I guess go go for another round. Although she's right next to the door. Maybe we'll like hold it open. Let's do that. Let's like hold it open so we can like run in and then draw them back outside. Let's try that. Okay, so Emily, now that you've done that, come on back out. Zoya, we're gonna have to do this really quick. Okay, go, 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 go. Door is open. There, we got one shot off. Okay, guys, you can like walk outside. Oh, they have decided to steal what they can and leave. That's pretty good. Um, that means they hopefully won't charge us and we can just fight them. And once we get them, either dead or unconscious, they will drop whatever they are carrying. Fire? Who said fire? Naoko said fire. Great. Okay, maybe Leo can put that out. She's stealing wood. <laughs> How much wood? How much is she carrying? Why doesn't it say in the gear? 46. It says down here. She's stealing 46 wood. Okay. Well, even that won't be tolerated here. Okay, Leo, be careful. Stay here. Uh, is there anything you can clean? Why don't you come out this way instead? Uh, you don't plant stuff. What do you do? What can you do? Plants. Animals. You can do a little planting. Come sneak out this way. And do a little sewing. While Zoya goes after Moira. Wow, Naoko is just... Is she done? Is she not gonna take stuff and leave? Oh, okay. Um, Moira is toast. So we are just gonna focus on Naoko, who has set fire. Good thing the doors are open. She would like die in there. It would get like really hot. Is she trying to like break through this wall? Oh my god. Okay, Zoya, just go and like shoot her at close range. Leo, what are you up to? Oh, you want to put out the fire. Okay, just not right now. Um, how do we, let me see. Why don't we do like base area and then we will remove this room from the base area, just temporarily. And we will tell him to stop again. Okay, good, 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 good. You can reach her from there. Go nuts. Looks like that pillar is kind of in the way. Okay, good. This could work. Excellent! Okay, capture. Emily, you're gonna put out the fire. This is great. Okay, so we have Naoko as a prisoner. That is great. And now we can unrestrict Leo. And the animals can come back out. And Katya can come back out. Amazing. Wait. Oh, because it's the old prison. Okay, we'll have to do this. Boop. There we go. Nice. Okay, so this room is a total mess. <laughs> Definitely don't want any guests there right now. Um, yeah, hopefully someone can clean that up before Katya has to sleep there. What a me what a disaster. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Refugees. I'm insulted. We took you in. 
out of the kindness of our hearts and because, you know, we need help. But mostly out of the kindness of our hearts. And this is how you repay us. How rude. Okay, Leo, come and tend to Malco. Check your health. Eight hours. Not too bad. Leo is on the job. I think that went fairly well. I mean, sucks about Moira. Because um, she would have been a good addition to the colony. But you do what you gotta do. Alright. Um, Emily is planting. Zoya, can you, can you prioritize cleaning? Boop, boop. Boop. Boop, boop. Clean. Okay. Cleaning is your priority. Get that space cleaned up. Excellent. Amazing. She's on it. She's she's mopping up all the blood. That's great. Good job. We need a manager's desk. Did they destroy our manager's desk? Or do we just not have one? We just didn't have one. And I set up some manager stuff. Okay, that's why. Smelter. So where do we want to put a manager's desk? Maybe in the research room? They're kind of similar. I think it kind of counts as being similar. Let's put it right here. Let's put it right next to the research desk. Oh, or we could do this. Let's do that and then it uses the same uh, stool. It won't work when we get real chairs, but it'll work for now. All right, Zoya is cleaning away. Good job, Zoya. We will get this room suitable again. Oh, and she left behind her violin. I think that was Naoko's though, because I think she's artistic, right? She's the artist? Yes. So we will we will take good care of your violin, Naoko. And once you have joined our colony, you can have it back. That can be your incentive. Your resistance is 19. This guy is at 24.9. Not too bad. Okay, and Katya will need one of these beds. That. I don't know what you can do for like, but well, you can repair them. Okay, you can repair that after. Maybe rebuild. Are these okay? Camel hide. This is camel hide. This is heavy fur. So maybe we'll just leave the camel hide ones because these are also camel hide. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, and um, this is where we are going to leave it for today. I think that was pretty, pretty good. Um, other than the start, the start was like super depressing that we lost McLean. Like, I'm so bummed about that. Um, but we have Naoko, so, you know, that's something. She's, she's good as well. She's got some skills. We could use her. And hopefully Marulo will also be converted fairly soon as well, and we can have a couple new colonists added. That would be super nice. All right, well, I hope you have a great rest of the week and a great weekend, and I hope to see you on Sunday for the next Queer Colony episode, and see you next Thursday for the next Grid Base Challenge episode. Uh, the challenge, by the way, is supposed to go until the end of July, um, I haven't really decided if I'm going to keep it going beyond then. Like, I don't know if the rules say that you have to, like, complete it by then. Uh, I'm not really in it to win the co Like, you know, I'm not that kind of RimWorld player that I want to, like, win. Because I don't really finish the game, like, ever. I've never finished the game. So it's just for fun. So I think even if um, we pass the technical end date of the contest, I think I might just keep going for the summer. Um, until the end of August and then um, I'll be back to school full time so we'll have to see how that goes um, but for now I hope you are enjoying the two different series I think it's kind of nice to have two different ones um, kind of mixes things up week to week I'm trying to keep these episodes shorter and the uh, Queer Colony episodes can go a bit longer and yeah, uh, we better maybe accept this quest so that we can um, fight those cats in the next episode. And so I don't forget about it. 14 hours would be like the next day. Yeah, let's, um, let's accept that. Yet. Great. All right. Well, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.